Okay, welcome to Photopea. It's very similar to Photoshop and Pixlr, just a little bit different. Let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is obviously navigate to the website, and then we're going to hit New Project. Okay, so this is our new project. We want it to be inches, but this is the wrong size. Let's make that 8 by 10 at 300 pixels per inch. This is a good printing resolution. It can be 10 by 8, it doesn't really matter. And if you want your uh, backdrop, usually white, but if you want to make a PNG, you want to make it transparent. We're going to go ahead and create that. Here's our canvas. Let's go get an image to start to learn how to play with this. So let's bring this in. Looks great. We can move it around. We've got our move tool here. So we can move it around. You can see it's on its own layer. If I love where it is and don't want to wreck it, I can lock it. That will no longer allow me to edit it. That's sort of fun to make sure I don't wreck my work. I can also resize my work. To resize my work, I'm going to go to the corner and then hold shift. Holding shift makes sure that I don't warp it. So here's me not holding shift and you can see how terrible that looks. So holding shift ensures it looks good. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy our image. So if I want a duplicate image, I can just go ahead and go Command C. Once I've done that, I can go Command and Paste which is Command V, and then I can pull out my duplicate. Let's do that again just for fun. So I'm Command C to copy. Here's all my links and my shortcuts. And then Command V to paste. I can pull out that duplicate. And let's see how I can have three of them. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is show you how, if I make a mistake, how do I want to do undo it. The undo is really simple. It's just Command Z. So I can get rid of that. So then to a duplication or undo something that I don't like was a mistake. The other thing I can do is I can actually drag a layer to the right one, which also works. Okay, so I'm going to drag it to the right That will also get rid of the layer. Okay, uh, next thing I'm going to do is I can then maybe transform it, so I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to click on the layer so that we know that which one we want to edit. Okay, I'm going to go to this one, and if it doesn't, Turn on these transform fields we want to turn them on. That's going to allow us to rotate it. And when we're rotating it, we get that double hand curl. We just simply rotate it. We put it to the top of the and then we have it done. Alright, so that's it for that. Um, oh, one more thing. I want to show you how to move over the image. So, say we're bringing this image to our social media. And it is obviously on top. One thing I can do is I can actually do it and just by dragging this down in my layers palette and now you can see it's actually underneath. The other thing I want to show you today is just how to turn it on off the layer. It's still there, but if it's only one of the other weapons, I need to just move it away from the side to go on with it and then turn off the layer so I can see it. And when you're done, you're going to file, you're going to save. I want you to show you, this is one that we're really using in the Projects, but right now, all we need is a JPEG for this. I'm going to export. I have a JPEG. I'm going to call this it's a JPEG. I'm going to make sure it makes sense for the card quality, and I'm going to save this. I'm just going to go to the download folder. Let me make sure you get that there. So in your phone, I'm going to save these when we are going to be submitting these. Okay? Catch you in lesson two.